Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and today you are being briefed on SCP-15. Let's go ahead and jump into the briefing. All right, and that's a picture of the interior view of SCP-15. Item number SCP-015, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-15 is impossible to move and is contained on site. A gap of at least two meters needs to be maintained around the entire structure containing SCP-15 at all times, and no structures of any kind are to make contact with SCP-15's current containment structure. Exploration is permissible, but only in teams of three with full safety lines and GPS tracking. Any protrusions from SCP-15 must be capped and sealed immediately, with the new site recorded and logged. No aggressive action is to be made within SCP-15. No hand or power tools are allowed anywhere inside SCP-15. No repairs or maintenance are to be made anywhere on SCP-15. Description. SCP-015 is a mass of pipes, vents, boilers, and other various plumbing apparatus completely filling a warehouse in Redacted. The pipes appear to grow when not under observation attempting to connect to nearby structures via sewer systems and underground plumbing. SCP-15 contains, at current estimate, over 190 kilometers of pipes, ranging in diameter from 2.5 centimeters to over 1 meter. Some pipes appear new, while others are rusted and leaking. Pipes have been reported as being made of bone, wood, steel, pressed ash, human flesh, glass, and granite. No pipes composed of lead, PVC plastic, copper, or any other traditional material for the productions of pipes have been found. SCP-015 reacts to tools and aggression. Any personnel acting violently, carrying tools, or attempting to damage or repair SCP-015 in any way will trigger a reaction. Any pipes near the subject will burst, spraying on the subject for several seconds before the flow suddenly stops. Pipes have been reported containing oil, mercury, rats, a species of insect not yet identified, ground glass, seawater, entrails, and molten iron. Pipes will continue to burst around the subject until death or retreat. SCP-015 was cut back to its current structure after attaching to 11 other structures in the area. Currently, 11 personnel have been killed, and 20 more are still missing. Reports have been made of banging and screaming coming from within SCP-015. And that ends your briefing on SCP-015. Um, yeah, 20 personnel are still missing. Um, 11 have been killed. The, those 11 have been confirmed. The other 20 are presumed dead um, or trapped within SCP-15. Uh, caution is of utmost importance when researching and containing SCP-015. All right, and with that, remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.